Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonic Academy with me Chris and Yelly in this final uh, introduction to Bitwig. We are going to just probably take a look at sort of exporting, mastering. Yeah, so let's, um, I actually even haven't tried exporting so I'm assuming we have to, uh, so well let's, let's, not, let's not select our time, let's see what happens when we go to export, export audio. So yeah, so it's it's picked up the end as the last sort of yeah region. thirty three yeah that's okay cool so we've got pre fader if true the taps the track pre fader otherwise post fader should be rendered tap the tracks pre fader otherwise the post fader signal will be rendered so it'll just ignore the fader yeah okay so that would be if you're wanting to um, bounce out stems mm -hmm. I'd imagine. And we've got um, what tracks we want to bounce. So we're just going to bounce our master. master yeah. That's uh, handy because you could you can quite easily then deselect stuff. The again for stems, you know, deselect the master and say, right, I want drum machine. Yeah. One two and yeah, that's kind of good. Yeah. But the yeah, we've and um, we've only got uh, waves. We've only got waves. Yep. So let's call it our. Big beat monster <laughs> 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 with a big is it like a smiley face? Oh, uh, I, did, I, did, I was supposed to say nineties, nineties big beat monster. See a quick late exports. What do you reckon? Ooh, well, this computer is quite fast, so it's. Ooh. So there we go. We have our our export. Um, my our desktop. Big beat monster. Yeah. So it is format 441 bit wave file. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Very low. <laughs> I think that was, yeah, our master must have been turned on. Uh, other things that we didn't uh, get to touch upon here is controllers. There is a, an API. Yeah, there's Java an API JavaScript. using the JavaScript um, language, which m enables you to program. Um, some quite complex el elements into your controllers. So it, it um, basically it sits between Bitwig and your controller and sends signals back and forth. So w enabled in with Max for Live, you could do stuff like have a step sequencer built on the pads. Okay. Um, so you can do that kind of thing, and it's open source, so you can have a go yourself making controller. There, there would be interesting, you know, be third yeah. party guys. Getting I'd like to see this doesn't currently yeah. work with it through the Mackey protocol. So maybe an update of that implement. I think they're using the newest Mackey protocol, which this is, uses Mackey original. Old, okay. Yeah. So. Or I ideally, if they were to do a Yukon one, so maybe that can be built for it. The other thing is uh, we didn't go into very much depth on the modulation routing and how that can be done. Um, so I'm sure we'll we'll be doing more tech tips on mm. Bitwig as you know as it releases and maybe as updates come out. Yeah. Yeah. The big thing that I'm really interested in is the internet yes, collaboration that stuff. Yeah, that hasn't, again, that's coming, which is a local LAN network collaboration and then over internet network collaboration, which yeah. I think that would, like, myself and you collaborate, so at night to be able to sort of log on and, and work on a project together would be would be fantastic, and I think that would be a game changer. Let's, let's go through some pros and then some cons. Yeah, pros for you. Um, I I like all the sort of the openness of it all. You know the way you can sort of <coughs> um, you can send all the modulation stuff. Yeah. You know, there seems to be a lot of scope there. Uh, I like how it looks. It feels nice. Um, you know, everything sort of everything that's in there now works pretty nicely yeah. there's a, you know there's a few emissions silly wee quirks here and there that can be very easily fixed in terms of workflow like that's you know, naming hitting tab to go to the next name things like that that you know would save you time I, th I think the guys behind it have really thought you know long and hard about what things do yeah it's been very it's been very well implemented you know it's been yeah. two years in the making but I think you can te you can feel that it feels stable yeah I think I, it just I, feels know. great yeah um I love the, you know, I love having all this. I like options, you know, I like all the different options for how you want to display. Yeah. Show, you know, you're at the different parts of the track. You're you're in different head spaces, you know. Yeah. Um, 
yet at the start you want to be looping stuff and quickly gathering things together and then you want to go let's park that let's start arranging out and that uh, that's where Ableton has always fallen down for me I think the, the built in synths are decent I think the library's not bad mm-hmm. um, things I don't like um, the cons are I mean price point is pretty good yeah, it's, I think it's middle of the road. What I mean, is it, mi- two nine nine. Two euros? nine nine. Yeah, maybe so. maybe the the higher end of, you know, if you think, um, Ableton Suite's around that money. Is it not five nine nine? I thought I looked at it today. I thought it was five nine nine for the suite. Is it five nine nine? Yeah, I didn't think it was that expensive. Yeah. Um. But then you have Logic, that is one two nine. Well, that's just fr- it's it's got frightening. Everything in it. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, brilliant sense and stuff, but, uh. I think this is a really good starting block. Anybody that's sort of yeah, the thing that the thing that constantly springs to my mind when I'm playing with Bitwig is potential. Yeah, the that's exactly. It's a, it feels exciting. Yeah, it does. It feels like a real combination. It's it bridges that gap between Cubius and Ableton. I think. Yeah, nicely. I think for anyone that's coming from Ableton, it's like you know you already know how to use it. Yeah, pretty much. You know exactly. Be, there's not too much extra on top that you're you, know, you would have and, to struggle with some really top little features like the the note automation you know within their synths and stuff and I, I can see you know by the time we get to version 3 of this thing it'll be a, a pretty spectacular monster yeah and I would, I would love to see you know in Cubase you have a lot more options for sort of MIDI manipulation and um, mm-hmm. various different things and sort of to my mind, they have just—they've really concentrated hard on getting it stable. The fundamentals, right? Fu- yeah, and they've—they've they've now got a building block which they can now build upon. Whereas Ableton feels a little bit as if it's starting to creak under its own weight. The foundations are are wood. Uh, yeah, and s- same with with logic. Well, I, Ableton Nine's pretty stable, but th- this—you know—the the way the automation works. You know, there's a few elements that have been put in there. You know, as new features that just don't work for me. Cool. So, guys, hope you enjoyed it and got something from it. It is. We do recommend it as a piece of software. Uh, yeah. I certainly will be, you know, t- playing about with it and and uh, whether it becomes my go-to DAW or not, I, I don't know. But whether it becomes a tool that gets me to a certain point, uh, I yeah. can. I firstly, I think, yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. So I think we'll we'll obviously keep you updated. If you have any questions or you want to see any more elements in detail, yeah. give us a shout on the forums or comments below. Um, and just let us know what what you want to see. Um, um, obviously, updates will be probably rolling out Pretty as soon, soon as it yeah. goes out. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, thank you to the guys from Bitwig for uh, g- getting us copies. Yeah, uh, thank you. So we can get this out to you. Uh, see you all very very soon. <laughs>